So first of all, that's horrible. It's a little baby sample, but my husband can use them and my kids, uh, unless they eat them, whatever. Do you wanna like try these out? Cause I'll sell them to you. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Today is gonna be my January favorites video. I know that it is well into February. I got that, I understand. However, excuses, excuses, I know, but things happen and I haven't been able to get it out sooner, so hopefully you are okay with seeing my favorites from January and February. Anyways, I collected some things together that I um, discovered and both rediscovered this month, uh, last month. <laughs> Um, these are just things that I thought would be interesting for you guys to see that I use and that I like. And also I wanted to include a few things that I am not so happy with. A few things that I purchased and then had issues with and I don't really like to down products but I think it's important for me to share like my opinion about stuff so you guys don't make the same mistake or that you can judge for yourselves. Some way that you used it and it worked out better for you guys or whatever. So first I'll start out with the things that I have been loving this month. Um, I asked, I had a few people ask me for review on these Sigma brushes. I got them for my birthday. They were in my birthday haul video that I did last month. Bottom line, I really, really love them. They are really, really awesome brushes. I use them every day when I do my makeup. I love them compared to the MAC brushes that I've used and the Real Techniques brushes and lots of different kinds of brushes. These are probably my favorite for their price. Um, they are just so smooth, so silky. I use these all the time. They obviously need to be cleaned. Um, I love the duo fiber. I love the eye brushes. I love the powder brush. This set was really, really perfect. Um, one thing that I'm not so keen on, and I brought this lid over so I could show you, they talk about how you can close it up so that you can like take it with you. And I feel like when I go to shove it down, you can see how it will like push the brushes up. And I don't really know how to fix that. Maybe you guys can comment down below and tell me like, I can't, like I can't make these smaller so that I can shove this cap down on top without like pulling the bristles down, if that makes sense. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing because it's a really cute little case, but I don't really know how to use it properly. So I just keep them like this. I store them on my vanity, on my counter, and they blend beautifully and they set my makeup beautifully. So I really love them. Go buy them. Um, the next thing that I wanted to include is these little like EOS chapsticks. I know that I am like late to the party with these things, um, that they've been around forever, but I just barely got them um, and started using them in January. Anyways, I got the pack of five from Costco and I love them so much that I ended up going like to Target and Walmart and every time I see one of the little ones in a pack, I'm like, I don't have this one yet. So I have to add it to my collection. So I probably have like 20 now. I don't know. I'm really bad. The problem with these is that they are so attractive to children that my girls steal them all the time and I find them in the playroom and I find them in their toy boxes and half the time they are like half eaten um, because they smell so good. Anyways, um, my only issue with these two is that they don't have the name on them. I wish that they said like honeysuckle and lavender and things like that on them because I call it like the mint one and like the red one because I have no idea what they are supposed to be so I really don't know how to tell you which ones I have and which ones are my favorite. Um, anyways, I have a ton. I love them all. They're so smooth and silky. They're clear so that like my husband can use them and my kids, uh, unless they eat them, whatever. The point is, is that they're awesome and you should buy them if you haven't. And if you do, then tell me which ones are your favorite so we can talk about which ones we love together. Okay, moving on. Um, the next thing I love is also a makeup product. I have it right here. This I have been using every day. Even when I don't do my makeup, I love the way that it feels on my lips. This is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Precious. It's almost gone. You can see this is all that's left. Um, I have been trying to go out and get another one for a long time and I think I might just buy one on Amazon. There, I need to get like a bunch of these because I use it every day. I'm wearing it right now. It's like the perfect nude shade because it has a little tinge of pink in it. Um, it's really smoothing and silky and um, it's not very sticky. I have to like check. Anyways, um, okay, I should I should move on faster. I'm going really slowly. Um, another thing that I have been using that is kind of makeup related is this Alien. It's a little baby sample, but this is um, this is the Alien by I don't want to screw this up. Um, Terry Mugler, I think it is. Um, Mugler, Terry Mugler. I think it's the um, Alien perfume. Like I said. It's just a tiny little vial. I got it in a sample box when I got an, um, a product shipment from Sephora. And I ordered Sephora online because we don't have one close by at all. But 
Anyways, I got it just to try it out. I uh, gave it a try and I really, really love it. I don't know what I like so much about it, but it's just so like, I gotta smell it. It's just so refreshing to me. It has a really like, it's obviously a feminine smell. It's not like a man's cologne, which I don't mind for women like when they have kind of that manlier smell, but I wanna smell feminine, I don't know, without smelling flowery or like, like ice cream or pie, you know, like nothing, nothing, not that there's anything wrong with pie. I don't know how to describe that smell. Do you guys like Alien? Do you not like it? Like, I wanna hear what you think about it because I wanna know if I'm like in delusion or like in my own little world of like, this smells so good. But it's, um, I really, really love, love the smell of it and I've been savoring it and it's almost gone. So I think I'm gonna get the big bottle, but I would love to hear your opinions before I take the leap and spend that kind of money. Um, I usually just buy like really cheap perfume, so that would be a little bit of a splurge. Next, the one thing that I have really loving that's kind of nail related, since I wanna show like a little bit of a spectrum, is this pen. This is the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum uh, from Julep. And actually I got a little sort of care package thing in the mail from Julep um, with a bunch of nail colors and different serums and top coats and things like that. And so I decided to give them a try and I started using this one and it has like a, like a little pop cap on it and it has this little paintbrush on it. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, um, but so you hear the clicks. You just click it a couple times and it starts to come out the top and then I just like rub it like this and a little half moon on my cuticles like that. Can you see? So I just go like this and I just rub it on my cuticles and I do it in the morning and I do it at night. I leave it on my counter so that I can kind of like, now I'm doing it in the middle of the day. Um, I leave it on my counter so that I remember to do it and I really have seen a difference. I was kind of skeptical. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, who knows like how good of a product it is, but I thought I got it for free, might as well give it a try, and I would really recommend this. It's, anyways, it, it dries really quickly, and if you want, just go like this and have it dry. But um, I really feel like I have had healthier nail beds. I feel like, like I'm not getting as many of those stray, like little pieces of skin that kind of come up. And I, anyways, I really love this stuff. I would give it a try. I'll put a link down below to it so that you guys can go and check it out for yourselves. But again, it is the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum and I feel like it's really helped my fingernails. So um, moving on to the next thing. Uh, um, this is not makeup or nail polish or any sort of related to that. This is actually some tea. This is herbal tea. I really am a big herbal tea person. I love brewing it up, especially this winter months, and I will brew it up and then I will drink it like all day long and I'll leave it. I actually use a coffee pot to brew my tea, so I'll put the tea bags in the bottom of the um, where the coffee grinds go and then I'll just brew a big pot of it and then I can drink it all day and my coffee pot keeps it hot and um, all of January. I've been drinking this probably like every day. I brought some with me to my alt conference and I would make tea to like and bring it into class with me. Um, anyways, I've got to read you these ingredients. This unique nectar like tea is one of our most popular blends. 100% um, natural ingredients, licorice root, cinnamon, orange peel, Chinese star anise, vanilla flavor, sarsaparilla, orange oil, cinnamon flavor, clove bud oil, and cardamom oil. So this has a really, really, like, almost like a little spicy taste, but it's very sweet as well. And actually, I should show you, I got this big, fat box of it. Um, this is the stash tea. This is, ahem, like, a hundred tea bags. Um, anyways, I'll put a link down below to the box if you want to go check it out. You can also, I'm sure, find, like, these little individual things that have 20 tea bags if you just want to give it a try. Um, I really love the stash tea brands in general. They really have lots of good flavors. So check those out. What else do I have? That might be all of the good things that I wanted to share. Oh, one more thing. This also, I wanted to share this glove. I love my glove. I got this also for my birthday and I was showed you, talked about it in my birthday haul video and um, I hadn't really tried it out so much. Anyways, I have been using this um, every other day or so to rinse off my brushes and to scrub out the makeup and I cannot believe how much faster my makeup washing cleaning routine is with this glove. I just can't believe that I waited so long to finally get it. I'm just so strong and so sturdy. It has this little mitt inside, like this little squishy, soft, towel-esque thing inside so that your hand is like in its cozy little cocoon while you wash your brushes. Um, so what I'll do is like get my cleaner on my brush and I'll get it in the water and then I will just rub it like this on this washing one like in small circular motions and then I go back and forth like to rinse it out like that and then I will like go like this and pinch it and you pull it through so that you're like refining those hairs and making sure that all of the hairs are going straight up and then the back side is for doing like the eye brushes and so 
Anyways, it's just so, so good. I really, really love it. It's, I think the cheapest place I found it though was on, again, on Amazon. I'm kind of an Amazon junkie. So I'll put a link down below and you can go buy it and you should go buy it if you don't have one because it's amazing. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do, again, I'm kind of hesitant, but I need to show you a few of my unfortunates for this month. Um, I did run out of my favorite makeup wipes. I think they were a Vino. They were like, a, it's called like Clean Scent or something which I loved those makeup wipes and I decided while I was at Costco that I just decided to get like a big bulk package. I'm like, I'm gonna use these things. Anyways, I got the Neutrogena wipes because that's all that they had and I am kind of disappointed in these. I don't mean to like bash them totally for those of you that love them. If you do, that's great. Uh, they're just not for me. They are really, really dry in my opinion. And maybe I just got like a wonky batch, but with every, bro every, with every wipe that I use, I have to like run it under the faucet and get some water on it in order to use it because I opened up the box, I opened up the wipes. I Anyways, I really don't like returning things and so I thought, well, I'll just make it work and it, it kind of works, but I just, I won't be buying these again, I guess is my point. I got like six of these packages in that box and I'm kind of frustrated with them only because I know that there's better ones out there and I hate that. So I will just, I'll keep rinsing it under the, I just like run it under the faucet and get a little bit of water on it and I kind of scrunch it up and then I use it and it's fine. Um, but it's a little bit more abrasive than I like and again, they're really dry. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, Neutrogena, I normally really like their products, but they let me down with their makeup wipes. Um, the next thing is this. Uh, this is the Vaseline Spray and Grow Spray and Go Moisturizer. It says moisturizes in seconds so you can put your clothes right on. Uh, this is false. I don't know how to describe the disappointment that came with this. I love let me just go get it. As you can see, I love the actual lotion version of this. I have like six of these in my house. I just, I have them like in every room and I'm always like, and like rubbing all over my arms and all over my legs and like, I just, I love the way this, may, in fact, this should have been in my favorites. Um, and now it is. This is one of my favorites. I have used this for a year and I won't go into any other moisturizer because this does exactly what my moisturizing needs need. Whoa. Um, I just really, 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 really love this stuff and so I was very excited to get this version when I saw it online and I saw it in people's, like, on their blog posts and stuff like that, they're like, this stuff is amazing and the little girl in the back is like just spraying it all up in her body and stuff and then you just like let it dry for like five seconds and then you put your clothes back on. But it's just so oily to me. I, I put it on my skin and, I, and it's like water. Also it feels like it's separating like while I'm rubbing it. Like I feel like there's like two levels. Like one, I feel like the ingredients like aren't even fully mixed up in there. I don't know. I spray it on my skin and I go to rub in and there's like a waxy texture. But at the same time it's like oily and my hands are all wet and it won't rub in all the way. and. I don't feel like my skin is hydrated. I feel like there's a coating on my skin. And anyways, I'm sorry to bash this if you love this. And again, maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know, but I feel like I don't want to risk buying more. And this is totally full and I kind of just want to give it back, but that's kind of gross and tacky. And I don't know, I don't know what I'll do with it, but do you want it? Cause you can have it. I just don't know. Anyways, my last unfavorite that I wanted to share is it really a disappointment to me <clears throat> because I was hoping to go to the bang department and like I don't want to cut my hair but I really wanted to try out having bangs. It's been a while since I've had bangs. I'm not about to cut my hair but I really like that you can use hair pieces to change up your looks. Anyways, I did a lot of research and there was really, really no bangs that I found online that were my auburn hair color. Um, I don't think it was that hard to find like just a clip and bang. I know that I can go to like the hairstylist and have them like match my hair color and dye the bangs, but I thought that's a lot of hassle. And so I just looked through and found eventually one that I thought was going to be my hair color and it's not. So I'm sorry, but I have to say that the Bobby Glam fashion fringe is like the worst quality hair piece that I've ever seen. And I'll show you. And that'll, okay. I wouldn't complain except for the fact that I can't return this again with the returning thing there's like this safety seal thing and it looked like when I opened it up I knew that it was a safety seal but this it looked like my hair maybe it doesn't right now but it looked like my hair color because there's there's like a paper back there that you can like so you can that you can see through the hair that kind of makes the hair look darker than it was I think because like when I got it out it just was not my hair color whatsoever and not only that but it was like 30 bucks and I thought eventually I'm finally finding some bangs that will work 
You wanna see? Does it look awesome? Does it match my hair? Oh yeah. Anyways, um, I'm really disappointed. Do you have like already hair that's lighter than my hair color that you wanna like try these out? Cause I'll sell them to you. I'm really disappointed to lose 30 bucks. I really thought that I was gonna like have some bangs finally and that's not the case. They're just, they're just crappy. Like, I put it in my hair and first of all, it's, it's like the hair is so hard and coarse that it just goes straight down. Like there is none of this like brushing it into your hair stuff. It clips right here and it like stays right here. And I'm trying to like brush it out to the side and it goes wah, and it goes right back to the front. So first of all, that's horrible. Secondly, I went to unclip it and the clip totally popped off of the hair piece. Um, and they're like, you can sew them back on, but I don't want to sew it back on. I just want to buy them and have it work out. So I don't know. I really, really am upset with these. Um, it's not a huge deal, but no bangs for the freckled box, I guess. No bangs for me. So um, maybe I'll try the hairstylist thing, but who says that they can match my hair color perfectly? I don't know. I, I just didn't want the hassle of that. I wanted to buy some bangs and have them come and they're either blonde and like ashy brown or they're like carrot red or they're like black. So, is that everything? I think that's everything. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I can be posting videos much more often on here. I have so many ideas for things that I want to share with you guys, and I know I say that every time, but it's true. So leave a request down below if you want any more videos. Also, you can be sure and subscribe to my channel so that you are updated immediately when I do post a new video. Also, I am on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and um, Google Plus and all those places, so be sure and like me there if you want, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.